Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Barbell Junction. This week we have Nas Yusof. Uh, she's a CrossFitter as well as a mother, and she will be sharing with us about training during pregnancy. But before we start, please go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe, leave a comment, uh, anything you know, click the not- little notification button, and also please do follow us on Spotify as well. Actually, dah buat intro. <coughs> What happened to my voice? <coughs> I actually, dah buat introduction lah uh, okay. earlier on, so I think we can just get right into it. Sure. Um, so, assalamualaikum, Nas, right? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, thank. First of all, thank you for being here. Um, thank you for having me. It's always nice to have um, some ladies on the show to give their <laughs> perspective and whatnot. Uh, we just, we always, we don't always get a lot of uh, women. <laughs> Satu because I'm really shy. Uh, <laughs> number two, I mean, it's it's very difficult to get people because they don't um, approach mm-hmm. us as well. So we have to go and find. But thank God that you texted <laughs> me, <laughs> so makes my life easier, lah. Uh, alhamdulillah. So anyway, um, uh, just as a start, as usual, maybe you can just talk about yourself a little bit so that the viewers and listeners know who uh, you are. Okay. Uh, my name is Nas. Um, I'm a HR consultant in the day. Uh, I've been doing CrossFit for about, I think, six years. But I think in the last um, four four years or so, I started doing it more seriously, lah. And I'm also a mom of two. Right. <laughs> so six years in CrossFit. Yeah, like yeah, I started Wha- doing it like with my husband, like right before. I think right after we got engaged, he has been. Pestering me to try it and mm. yeah, and ever since I tr- got did my first word, I've been addicted. You got ever hooked. Since. Yes. <laughs> um, when was the six years ago? Was like 2013. Eh? Yes. 2013 is when D13 started. Eh? D13 started in I think they opened in 2014. So when me and my husband um started doing it, because he was already doing it in Australia when he was still studying oh. there. So when he came back, and I was only just doing you know your typical piggy gym, you run on the treadmill. Yeah, what do you call that? Huh? Um, cardio bunnies. <laughs> yeah. Right, so huh? I was just doing a lot of that, and then I just like joined there. Classes, all these like commercial gyms, can mm. and um, and he when he, and I did PT for a bit like strength training, but I didn't really like it. But you took PT or you did PT? Uh, um, I took PT, sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, so I didn't enjoy it because it was I just found it so boring <laughs> for some reason because well, I didn't. That's another know. topic, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I just found it very yeah. very boring. I'm like, oh. I'm like, is this it? You know, mm. so. And I guess my PT one wasn't really pushing me, you know. Like I was being one of those oh. annoying, whiny right. clients, like ala berat sangat lah. Mm. Oh no, la malas nak buat ni hari ni, you know. So, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. So I just, I, I just strength training weights were not like a part of my, my lifestyle but, at but all. But were you, were you always um physically active? Yes, I was. Like um, I grew up. Doing, I was dancing a lot. My mom was a famous dancer back in the eighties. Who? Yeah. Who? So she, Farah Sulaiman. So she used oh. to dance for like your Francisca Peters, wow. Sudirman. Wow. Wow. That yeah. So she used to be on TV a lot. So I, um, I w- I'm not Legend. professionally trained like uh-huh. her, but I mean like whenever she has shows, she will ask me, "Do you want to do it?" I'm like, "Okay lah, buat lah." And I enjoyed it, but I didn't want to make a career out of it. Right. And then um, when I was younger, I used to also ride horses. So I used to do. Um, I wasn't <laughs> competitive also, right. but I mean, uh. I did lah some competitions when I was older. But I wasn't like really competitive. I just, I just loved horses. So, so I used to ride. Yeah. Oh, this, this is the first time that I know of someone who actually <laughs> ride horses. Uh, <laughs> so now I'm curious. Yeah. Like, is it? How physical is it to ride horses? Ah, uh, it is very physical because oh. I mean you're using a lot of your uh, you're using your entire body because you're working your you are working together with the horse. Okay. Yeah. And you you do get tired. Oh like yeah. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, compared to a uh, what? Eh? It's physically <laughs> demanding because because you are also riding a horse mm. and you. T- I mean, kuda to you. Different days are the different mood. Oh okay. You know, like mm. my I had two, and one of my horses he was. Ada memang ada angin dia lah. Dia just one day he be fine. Mm. Another day ah, buatlah perang dia. Uh, right, I'm, I'm 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 interested to know like <laughs> when you say you have like two horses, meaning you own two horses. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I was uh, a lucky girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you are. I think Farhan is lucky. <laughs> I think he hit the jackpot unless he's also rich. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> he's my jackpot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Alhamdulillah, both Alhamdulillah. of you are jackpots are for each other, kan? Mm. So um, apart from you call it uh, equest- equestrian. So that means you not you, you just you didn't just ride horses pusing pusing. No, 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 no. <laughs> you I actually you know. Yeah, I used to do that, but I mean, I wasn't. Yeah, like, I I I could if you if you ask me whether I could wow. jump. I could do dressage. Yeah, I can do that. But I wasn't really competitive. I did. I Have did you like ever, you know, like entered into a competition? Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah, but very much um, small, small ones. Like not, not major. Not like your Kabil Amba kind of level, lah. Okay, I don't know who that uh, is. he's the one who he's our Malaysian rider. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. So, so, and then in um, uh, I'm assuming this is when you were growing up. When I was growing up, uh, I think since I was like standard one wow. until about I would I think form four was when I stopped. Then after that, oh. SPM like I got quite busy. Right, right. And I started okay, yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, it's quite long, eh? Yeah, yeah, quite long. Because actually, it's also my mom and my dad was also riding. Oh. Ah, uh, so wow. so it was it was sort of like a family thing, lah. Mm. My parents were doing it as well, so, um, and yeah, that was also D- easier to get two horses, lah. Yeah. my parents were also riding the horses, and D- I. Do you still ride? No, I stopped. I stopped. Um, when I was in form four, I got so I mean busy with mm. studies, and then um after SPM semua, I now you know my age, lah. Obviously, <laughs> I, <laughs> no, form I four to yeah yeah that was. To, 2000 yeah okay yeah anyway <laughs> um it's still young <laughs> come on <laughs> right but i know i'm proud of my age so yeah so am i okay <laughs> <laughs> so uh i stopped when i was in form four then i think uh i went into uh i was doing just like i wasn't really active i was just doing a lot of dancing then um when i went to australia uh i took up it's a bit Yeah, I took up pole dancing. It's a fitness. It's a fitness class. You're it's full of uh, surprises, lah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't don't know whether we want to talk about pregnancy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So like, yeah, my yeah, the, the joke is always like, oh, my mom was a dancer and wanted my wanted her daughter to take over her because my mom had a ballet school. Oh. So her dream has always been for her daughter or her nieces because my cousins also some of them um, were also Dancers. dancing. Okay. So her dream was oh. Come back, take over the school. Yeah, your daughter came back and became a pole dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's always, it's always like a running joke between us, lah. But um, yeah, I I took it up just for fun because it was it was they were offering it as like a fitness um, mm. thing over mm. there in in Australia, and. I wow. believe there's one not here at Malaysia, kan? Uh, oh, I was actually teaching with the pioneering oh. studio in KL. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. No, no more, no longer. I'm no longer because I just got busy with work. Mm. I just got busy with work, so I was doing it for about four years. I was That's quite long. Three, three, four years, yeah. Um, it's I after my first class when I went um, and tried it out, I had a whole new level of respect for actual pole dancers because mm. seriously, you get bruises, you mm. get burns. It's like no okay joke. because you're sliding up and down. Yeah, the pole. it's it's sake. Yeah. <laughs> but if you but why do you do it though? I mean, why was, why pole dancing? I think it was just different because because one is taboo. So much um, it's like okay, I'm going to try something extremely different. Mm. But then um, when because you do a lot of a lot of acrobatic movements on it, so mm. it's like it's a challenge. So I think that was what kept me going. You know, you just want to try and nail that. You know, like flag or hapo. You know, right. mm. ah, so can you do a flag? When I was when I was younger lah, no. Yeah, wow. <laughs> no, I cannot lah. Mm. Yeah, well, when we were younger, we could do a lot, a lot of, of things, things that yeah. we cannot do right now. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and, and then okay, so after the pole dancing, you, you, yeah. you seem to be moving from yeah one, from one, one to, thing to another. another. Then I was I took up I was doing a lot of running, so I was doing like running marathons and all that. 
because my basically you cannot sit still lah. I cannot sit still lah. Mm. Uh, tak duduk diam. Oh. So because my boss when I was teaching pole dancing here, um, she's a she's a fit. She I think she was one of my main uh, inspirations to really be stay active. So mm. she was a she was a fitness trainer. She was she's she's done everything pretty much. Um, it, it's it's weird lah. Eh? Sekarang ni, um, I find that a lot of people are moonlighting um, as fitness coach, yeah. PT and all that, kan? Yeah. I, I, I find it amazing because I don't know where you guys find the time lah. Because that's like, you finish your work probably five six o'clock. Yeah. Right, and yeah. then right after you probably do your your side business or mm. you know this PT stuff. And you know, yeah. I don't know what time you go back. Tish, uh, tak letih ke? I jaga kedai ni pun ada letih nak mampus. <laughs> But it's gratifying. I mean, like, because mm. for me, you know that that quote where you work eight to nine to five for someone else, and you yeah. don't work on your own goals. So, like, for me, it's I don't want to just be that corporate work yeah. nine to five person and not have my own thing on the side. But do you have your own thing right now on the side? The uh, is it okay for you to talk about this? Yeah. But you're HR, so <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything. And, uh, it's. I don't I don't have anything at the moment because right now it's just I'm just busy with my life is re- literally work CrossFit my kids and also um yeah course, Farhan is no longer the picture <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and also uh, I also do spin I uh, spinning class yeah spinning class yeah uh, okay so I, I think I know uh, a question that to ask you Tom okay <laughs> what don't you do <laughs> oh. <laughs> it seems like you're like wow, small all over, eh? very very active. I I try to lah, but I mean, I mean I I try, but like there are certain things that I maybe I won't do lah, like, like climbing and all that. I, I I'm scared of heights, so ah okay. Ah, uh, you ask me to do all this climbing, go right. ahead, tada tada. Right. Like for me, um, I don't mind climbing. I don't have fear of heights. Uh huh. But I have just I have a weak back. So ah, <laughs> I can't even <laughs> can't even do one pull up so let alone climbing lah so yeah so yeah, I, yeah for me I I like to uh, if I, if I can move around I, I is, yeah I, I enjoy doing that but certain things yeah lah climbing kafe tak tak no no so okay now you you've you've gone from uh, horse riding <laughs> uh, pole dancing a bit of uh, running mm. running is from when you were with your boss again. Uh, ah can. yeah, so she was she was very active. So I was doing like I did the Penang Bridge and all that. So it was quite fun. Yeah. Well, do you still run? No, only when I do CrossFit Watch. Just sekarang because okay. I a long distance for me after what it just takes a toll on your knees, lah, kan? Because mm. I was dancing and I was also running so much. Right. After what my knees just give out like. I, I just like okay. I, I would assume CrossFit pun. For some reason, it has not been an issue at all for me. Maybe it's in short burst lah, kan? Because uh, running is like 20, 30, 40 minutes, yes. kan? Yeah. Probably lah. Two hours, three hours. So what drew you to? Uh, I mean, actually, kan? Uh, mm. You are the first CrossFitter I've had. Oh really? On the show, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> actually, we want more. <laughs> more people from the come CrossFit guys. community, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can tell ID to come here. Yes, yeah. ID come here. Matt come here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, apa ni? What drew you to CrossFit uh, apart from uh, Farhan My was husband. doing it? Yeah. Um, I think because it was um, you don't do the same thing every day. Every day is a different workout. Mm. Every day you're doing different movements. So much like I remembered, literally my first CrossFit what when I did with um, Farhan was. Um, it was just body weight movements. Right. Okay? Mm. It was like just, I, I can't remember, it was squats, step up and one more movement. Mm. And the next day, I just felt like I was hit by a bus. Like mm. literally hit by a bus. But, and I felt, okay, I I can't do this. It's so sakit. You know? mm. But then he, uh, Fahan just kept saying, just try, just keep going. And then, um, then, then I just, okay, tahan the pain, you know, mm. go through it. And then, um, then we started do working on um, lifting weights. And back then, twenty kg empty barbell pun ada. Yeah. I was like, oh mm. my god, this is so heavy. I right. cannot do this. What? The? Oh no, I cannot, yeah, cannot. Because they don't have fifteen kg bars. Ah, tidak. That time commercial gym kan tak ada fifteen kg oh, bar. Co- oh. I was at uh, fitness first at that time. And this this uh, twenty thirteen though. Twenty thirteen. Yeah. It oh, was, okay, okay, ah, right, right, right. That time tak ada fifteen kg bar, so yeah. I was literally using a twenty kg barbell. Yeah, right, right, okay. So just doing deadlifts, doing this. So and then um. 
And Fahan is a drill sergeant lah. Mm. He's quite, he's quite. <laughs> he'll be mm. like, no, do it again, do it again. So I'm like, okay. Kasi anak nak you. <laughs> I think now anak anak kita orang. Just joking, Fahan. Marah. <laughs> anak kita orang do. I think he, they will get from both of us. Could not just him. Right. Okay. <laughs> so um, then I think after a while, he then he started adding the weights, and then then you start seeing like, okay, I can actually do this, and then yeah. and then um, you start you. Start Start slowly. I mean, pushing yourself a bit further. Like just add two point five, two point five kilo, mm. and then you're like, oh, I can do this, you know? Right. Yeah. So I, w- so I think the progress, and I sort of, I saw a lot of changes in my body physically, you know, like, mm. like, I mean, I wasn't like dropping weights, but the shape was different already. Much so, I'm like, okay, this is something different because mm. I've. You know, like when you do like just running, up after a while you just hit a plateau. Mm. You know, your body is just like eh, jump to jelah. Mm. So, but anyway. in terms of body composition, running doesn't change much unless uh, it makes you a bit skinnier, lah. Ah, uh, exactly. Right. So much, um, yeah, and so and at that time when we were training together, um, we were getting ready to kawin. Oh. We were getting ready for our wedding, so much um, ala ala uh, to ah, uh, uh, ala ala. He was like whipping his wife, future wife into shape lah, kan? Mm. Uh, so to look good in the pictures. Ah, uh, exactly. <laughs> which which kejam. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> like the pictures turned out really But nice. But I'm sure you 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 you're never overweight. I oh I was. But I you was. Were physic- you're physically I was physically active. I was physically active, but um, when I was in um form two, when I was fourteen, mm. I actually I was I used to be very skinny, and I think. For some reason, my my metabolism kapa just dropped that year, and I just doubled in size in that mm. year. I was still active, but my weight just kept on right. increasing, mm. increasing up until I think, let's just say lah, masa I was in 13, I was probably what 43, 45 kg. Okay. End of the year, I was 14 years old. I was probably almost 60. Wow. Yeah, I don't. I really. Cup loading. Know. Yeah, <laughs> cup loading how <laughs> big? But I do. I I was still. I was still horse riding. I was still. But right. I was just gaining a lot of weight. And the horse didn't give you feedback, girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I wish. I'm sorry, I I'm wish he kidding. had given me like a bird like you. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. So <laughs> mm, I I I can't help myself. <laughs> so yeah, I I think and then I think I just I did have a lot of um issues with my weight in mm. terms of like I was having hard time um. Losing it, even though I was active, but much um, I guess also maybe I didn't know the right way of dieting. Yeah, apa, you of know? course. I mean, you're fourteen, good. Ah, uh, and people uh. are people are always oh don't makan. I'm like, I love food. Yeah, so mm. <laughs> you it's can't. You can't hard, I, yeah. I can't. I can't. If you you know people who become anorexic, I, I can't do that because I. I can't give up yeah. food, but yeah. later out, later on, and then yeah. So then I, <coughs> I started doing when I started doing pole, mm. um, then it started dropping slowly, okay. and then um, then well, okay, I started. Did you mind sharing like how much you weigh when you was you started pole dancing? I think I was still because I was still um maybe about yeah around the sixty si- almost seventy. But you're quite I tall. Was, I'm quite. I I guess it's also that lah. My right. my height also played a role. So, so I think. I started losing weight, but not a lot of weight. But in terms of how I look physically, mm. was changing also. Mm. So much um, I, I you know like when you look at your weight on the weighing scale, it doesn't really say yeah, much. Yeah, you don't exactly, look yeah. at you don't know how much muscle mass you have, mm. how much fat percentage. So I really didn't know what was my composition at that mm. time. But um, I would have to say, much like my weight hasn't really changed much, but it's more of how composition I look. Composition, yeah. So. Mm. So the the pole dancing helped that, and then when then at, and at one point I was doing a lot of running. So right. running was running yeah, helped. Yeah, yeah, it was cardio, sure. kan? Kalau dia tak help, I pun tak tahu lah. I mean, it's bad advertisement <laughs> for running. <laughs> I, I will always dub myself as the fat runner, yeah. <laughs> the chubby runner, you know. And so then so how has how, how different has cross CrossFit affected you punya body composition? I think. Uh, definitely, my body fat has dropped. I don't know. I don't know by how much lah. But I, I, w- I can feel it. Right. You know, I can feel it in terms of and then muscle mass has increased and all that. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely not look like this when I was. Right. <laughs> I mean, I would have to say my weight before kawin, after kawin. I mean, maintain has been the same. It's just like my body has changed. Changed. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's fantastic though. Mm. Right. But so, yeah. uh, apa like 
uh, apart from the body composition apa semua ni kan like I feel like tanya lah <laughs> the sound of the water like distracted me just now <laughs> kan um, so you say that yeah, what drew you to CrossFit is that because uh, number one it's not uh, it's always what do, what do they call it a variable eh? it's yeah va- constantly var- var- can say varied, varied blah, 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 yes, whatever yep. it is kan Sorry, CrossFitters. I tak hafal you punya moto. And, and then, uh, of course, you felt that there's a different, apa, the, uh, in terms of your body composition mm. and all that. Um, but initially, kan, because we get this a lot, that women, bila dia tengok barbell or yeah. strength training, kan, <laughs> dia macam ada sedikit takut. And yeah. I'm, I, I just want to, since you are here, mm. I just want to know, uh, I'm sorry, guys, we haven't reached the topic yet, but... <laughs> It's too bad. We will we'll talk about it later. <laughs> What were your initial thoughts about strength training? Very standard. I'm going to be bulky. Really? Eh? Yeah. What because made what you guys think like that? Eh? I don't know. I think it's because it's just perception. Because I think, if honestly, if I had discovered CrossFit earlier, I think I would have done it. Even if I was in, I was a teenager. But mm. even even then, like, Society lah I'm guessing Because Whenever you think about Lifting weights You think all this Macam What you see on TV Right You know But what do you see on TV? All these weightlifters Yang like you watch Olympics ke apa kan The but women we- are quite oh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean okay. Maybe tak Relic- banyak women lah But men Generally hmm. But you forget that Men and women Badan lain But it's just that It's just ah. set in your mind Like If I was to tell my mom Back then Oh ma I want to do Weightlifting She's like You're the gila kau pun right. You know mm, yeah. <laughs> So So Yeah So the concern Has always been With women eh, uh, That they will be They will bulk up I guess So from I mean for me It was that When he was tell, When when Farhan was telling me Like oh Should try I said oh, I don't mm. want to be like You know like He said No you're not going to be like that I'm like Okay let's Okay lah we'll, Belum cuba Belum tahu, tahu lah. kan, mm. So I tried it And I, I mean, Do I look like a <laughs> No. I don't. No, it's, it's not easy kan for women especially tak though. So I I would love to look like one of the CrossFit athletes but right. memang tak ada. <laughs> so no I, way. I know um. we're, we're digressing to a lot of topic here tapi mm. I just want to understand kan mm. macam okay once you got over the fear of um uh weightlifting eh, atau strength training yep. kan. Yeah. Um now the idea of you looking like a CrossFit athlete is appealing kan? Oh yeah. I love looking at like your why, why why has that changed eh? Because uh, you've always seen this 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 image of a strong women kan? Mm. I think physically, you know, right. you know, but what has changed? I do for me macam I think they they're not like super bulky. I just it's badan dia orang lawa. I don't know for some reason I just find it very appealing like you I know, guess broad shoulders and then upper uh, a very yeah, slim waist kan. Yeah, but it's it's I think um Because you're actually doing the sport. So when you see, you know, all these athletes, can mm. it's, I don't know. I, I guess it's, you can relate sort of like, you can relate mm. to them in a way because you're doing something similar, although not as as right. crazy as them. But yeah. But sekarang ni, you tak rasa macam geli lah. Ini maskulin yang berurak, berurak semua keluar. I, kan? I, I, I ask Farhan like, eh, hey, if I pada macam ni, okay tak? Okay, <laughs> I say I. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm sure there are men who doesn't who, who don't think, like that. Yeah, tapi some guys would probably like their women a bit more feminine. Uh, I mean, like, but some of these CrossFitters, right? If you see them, I mean, they still look feminine to some extent, lah. I mean, right. Like, they, they're like a man, a man yeah, yeah, base, you yeah, know. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the extreme, which like CrossFit, the the elite CrossFit athlete, too, maybe is a bit a bit manish too much, lah. Ah, maybe lah. But, but if I think the general. Um, Crossfitter, it's just nice tone, yeah. nah. Yeah, just you nice. You know, I mean, yeah. I, I don't think it's very. It's not easy to get that level of musculature and yeah, uh, body yeah. fat, low Because body need, fat percentage. Because you need, you need like a, like your diet has to be a certain way yeah, and your supplements you need to be and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Tapi <laughs> anyway, uh, we've reached the 25 minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll get to the topic the right after topic. the break. <laughs> be right back. And welcome back to Barbara Junction with Nas. Um, we'll, okay, so we'll get right to it. Um, uh, the first time you were pregnant, you were already cross- crossfitting, kan? Yes. 
And that was what 2016, 15. Oh, no, sorry, 2014. Right, not long after we got married, we uh, then I found out I was pregnant. I think three, four months after. Mm. Mm. And um, what was your initial reaction? Not to the pregnancy, but like uh, you know, because you've been crossfitting. Like I think uh, should be about two, two years, two, three years. Yeah. Then. Um. At that time, I wasn't as serious about it. It was ah, okay. more mm. of like because we I was initially doing it to initially muscle uh, to prepare to get married again at right. that point and after we got married we sort of like died down a bit but we much like, um, we still we still go but mm. it wasn't like as as intense. But even that time intense pun wasn't intense for me because I was still lifting very, very lightweight. Mm, mm, mm. Um so when I found out I'm like oh no. You know I'm like, I, I mean oh no as in I <laughs> I have to stop. I have to stop yeah. training again. And then, um, then I have a friend who I remember when she was pregnant. She was still working out, as in like she was going for like your body pump class and all that. She was still working out. She was still staying active. So when I spoke to her, she's like, "Pregnancy is not supposed to make you stop doing what you're doing." Mm. You know, and then. And then it sort of made me like, okay, wonder like maybe it's it's okay lah to you know still work out. And then um, I spoke to my gynee when I found out I was pregnant. She's and then she's like, oh, I asked her. So if if I'm pregnant now, do I have to stop um, working out? She's like, why do you need to stop working out? Mm. You know. And I'm like, oh, but you know like you pregnant, you you know baby safety and all that. Unless it's a high risk pregnancy, there's no reason for you to st- to stop unless I tell you that it's you know it's risky. Right. Yeah. But did you do any of your own research? Yes, uh. I did. I did. I um at that time there wasn't a lot of resources. I mean, I found like my chum. There was this lady who who blocked her experience, like throughout her pregnancy. Oh, okay. So And she was a crossfitter as well. Yeah, she was okay. a crossfitter. So mm. she actually wrote like. Week week twelve. What was mm. what was her workout? How did she feel at that time? And then week thirteen. So about yeah. So I was doing a lot of research, and then I um, at that time baru nak start join district thirteen. Okay. Ah, uh, so so I went over and spoke to uh, that time was I think I spoke to ID first, and mm-hmm. I said okay, I'm pregnant, and uh, my doctor says it's okay for me to still work out. I mean, I was still doing it at uh, at the previous gym. Um, But then, uh, I already cancelled that membership. So when I moved over t- with um, this district thirteen, then then I did say okay, I will I will do my research and all that. And then um, he will scale back accordingly, mm. lah. Mm-hmm. Mm. So at that point, I wasn't I wasn't fit fit like I was doing it, but I wasn't like much I'm doing CrossFit seriously. So my mm-hmm. weights were not were not heavy. At most, point twenty five kg, five five kg. Plates on each side. That's about it. Most probably, yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, how did your husband feel about you doing CrossFit? He was mm. supportive. Wow, very first, supportive. First child, eh? First child. But uh, what we did was my for me because it was my first pregnancy. I wasn't sure. Mm. You know, I'm not experience. So, I to be on the safe side, I stopped for a while until Habis first trimester. Because okay. you know they say it's right. always okay. the first yeah. trimester is a bit more sensitive, kan? Mm. So, so we stopped, but it was like the because when I found out I was pregnant, I was probably like three weeks, mm. three weeks along, and it was the longest nine weeks waiting for mm. that twelve weeks to be over. You, hey, you didn't do any like walking, ke? I was walking. Oh, I mean, like, uh, I was I was still moving, but I was not like doing like weights, kapo. Yeah, which mm. which clearly you missed, lah. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. So af- after um, the first trimester, mm. and then what happened? Like, um, did you just immediately go into a ward, the roska, ataupun like? Ah, uh, I did. Tapi macam it was very macam careful. Mm. I was still very careful. So macam when I went into my first ward, the guy district thirteen, it was like um, I did was explaining the. Work out to the whole class because I I still join in a normal class. class mm-hmm. Can um, he was explaining the what what was what what we needed to do and all that and then he will uh, tell me okay Nas for this movement you just sub it with something else you know like for example if 
you can do with a barbell, you do it with a dumbbell. Mm. You know, so it, it, if you're unless you're comfortable doing it with a barbell, so however I feel, like, I mean, I had I had some say in what okay. you know you had options lah. I had kind, options, yeah. so mm. which is what I like about I like about um, CrossFit is because you can scale the workouts mm. and you still get that same stimuli. You know, like the right. same. It's just the intensity, maybe just slightly. Lesser. Did I put you like right at the end of the class? <laughs> so no, uh, he w- he was. <laughs> I I'm the one who's like I want to like be at the back, uh, like you okay. know this, this pregnant auntie there, right? <laughs> you know, and all these fit crossfitters in the front. But I just you know like but yeah at that time I was like okay I'm gonna stay at all the way, but yeah but no they were very supportive the the people in District 13 were very supportive. They're like oh my god you're like a mom you're like pregnant mm. and I was their first I was. The first pregnant. Yeah, I mean, how did they take that? I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure. It's uh, risky. Yeah, so risky. H- did, didn't they feel a bit uh, scared uh, I, that anything I'm would sure happen? I, I, I'm sure at some point, right? I didn't met. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure at some point they felt a bit uh, other, am, uh, other uh, apprehension uh, juga right, lah. But mm. I think because at that time I wasn't like crazy, crazy training so much. Um, so I just I just echo whatever they say lah. You know, like, uh. like okay, uh, if cannot do this, do do something different. So they will probably what they'll do is they'll tell me okay can you show me a I don't know a kettlebell swing okay and then if I if they see me struggling with that weight they say drop it or okay. or maybe just do with something or 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 just sub it with a different movement mm. Mm. yeah um, um uh apa ni <laughs> I had the question in my 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 tip of tip of my tongue and the loop what I'm saying uh Okay, when you st- you said you weren't that serious um, when you started mm. um, working out or, or going to the classes when you were pregnant, kan? Mm. Now, did you macam take it a notch back in terms? Of, I know they scaled it for you, mm-hmm. tapi in terms of the actual doing it, though, mm-hmm. did you actually pull yourself back a little bit? Ah, uh, maybe I did. Yeah, like basically. It, I how to say, I'm like, um, I let my body tell me, tell me. So if I was feeling a bit not into it that day, I'm like, um, I just feel okay. If this movement feels a bit uncomfortable, even though it's scaled already, right. then I will maybe like tone down a bit. You okay, know? and and progressively, did you push yourself? Yeah, there were times when I felt good. In okay. the workout And I would just try Okay let's just add a bit more uh, Like okay, one okay. kg plate pun cukup Just to You know And right. and that was Even Even it was just one kg plates on the side ad- Additional It's an achievement Right You know right. for me So Because I, I wasn't I wasn't going in to Train for a competition I was in there to just keep going Okay You know To be able to keep training For as long as I can mm. Throughout my pregnancy Okay now Um, at at the first trimester, kan? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry if we getting a bit more apa personal, ni kan? <laughs> Tapi how big was your tummy at that time? Oh, uh, masa my my first pregnancy, right? I was not showing up until I was probably five five months, months pregnant. Okay, six months then, but you can actually start seeing the bump before that. That do. Okay, before the f- the fifth month, tu kan? Mm. When you started going to the ni. Mm. Physically, did it feel different? Um, Because kita lelaki tak pernah mengandung kan? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we don't understand. I mean, I've got food in my tummy. That's all I can relate to. Tapi, d- did it feel macam, you know, less there's something inside yang... Yeah, because I think, um, because after the f- after the first trimester, you can already start feeling something the baby. Lah. Yeah, you oh. can start feeling the movements a bit. I mean, not not strong movements, but... You can start feeling the movement. I know this is a stupid question, though. Yeah. But I just want to ask you, can when you when you were training and then mm. of course you you did whatever movement that you did. Yeah. <coughs> did you feel the baby like bouncing? You oh, know, okay. Some, I just I just want to f- physically I, I want you to describe like how how it felt, though. <laughs> this Bef- before the uh, uh, within the first five months, lah. Um, I would have to say both pregnancy different. Oh. Okay. Um. How my different? My first ha? son. Ha. He slept during my workouts. Meaning he he wasn't active lah. 
Dia tidur okay. Before I he Like it's come to a point That macam uh, He knows In a way like They know your routine So uh. but Time I tengah drive On the way to the gym mm. He's all excited I can feel the movements mm. You know Masa tengah workout Diam Yeah. You know. He probably wanted you to stop going. Yeah, <laughs> either that, right? Uh, but he was he was just quiet, like 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 they say, cause moving, yeah, you're moving. Uh. So sometimes it's yeah, you're rocking him to sleep. That's what they say, lah. Uh. Okay, my other son, my younger son, he, I think, I think about burpees. Pun dia pun buat burpees dalam perut. That's a crossfitter for you. Ah, uh, that's yeah. why mm. the crossfitter yeah. lah. Can you should write this down and yeah. you know, 10, 15 years down the road, and think, okay, this is why you're a crossfitter. Yeah, you so know. they. Both have different personalities. Even now, the keluar kan different personalities. Right, yeah. of course. Ah, uh, mm. manusia semua lain kan. Yeah, but but yeah, you you feel the ch- you do feel the changes in your body definitely. I mean, you even though tak nampak, but internally you feel. You feel it. lah, yeah, kan? Definitely. So when it got bigger, when you you were oh, showing more, yes. then macam mana? What's the feeling like? Eh? Oh, berat. <laughs> <laughs> berat. Like putting on a vest. Yeah, yeah. you know, macam, I, I mean, I had like certain movements that I love doing during mm. uh, when I was when I was pregnant. Like deadlifts were the best. Like when I was pregnant, I did not have, you know, like how orang pregnant, they have sakit belakang yeah, and all mm. that. Because of deadlifts, I hardly had any, I would say n- zero back aches at all. Okay. You know? Um, and... The when I was when I was started sh- when I started showing and it got a bit heavier, yang sakit tu like when I do back squats, cause you already you've got the load on the yeah, back, mm. so and then berat the yeah, car, so yeah. you're like, oh my god, yeah. So you you still did um a squats, mm. uh, and deadlift. I assume once you got big bigger, then uh, it would be impossible to deadlift. I was still I was still doing it. Okay. Uh, you you sort of learn how to like modify the movements also accordingly. I, uh. I can understand a bit because I'm fat, so <laughs> there's a belly. You can so uh, I, I assume it's macam tu lebih kurang lah. Lebih kurang you know, lah, quite, I guess you, like yeah, uh. you sort of know how to move it out of the way, yeah. <laughs> sort of thing. Yeah, much like even that I was um okay, after my first pregnancy because I wasn't as like I said I wasn't as um serious kan so like macam snatches semua I was just doing dumbbell snatch right uh, you know and I was lifting just maybe like 15 pounds ke apa, 20, not even 20 pounds kot, just 15 pounds just as long as you get the movement you get the you get the right. workout in B- basically you didn't do any snatches uh, cleans ataupun not so not when I was I mean I but you, you use dumbbell uh, you I don't use barbell dumb, not barbell yeah. usually masa my first pregnancy it was more because I think I was still not confident in terms of awareness mm. awareness because you need to know like You know, like your movements, kan? Right. So at that time, I f- still felt that okay, I wasn't, I wasn't there, there yet. Mm. You know, uh, so so I was fine just subbing um, barbell movements with dumbbells. dumbbells. Yeah. And uh, at, did at any point of time, eh, um, did you feel like probably I should either back off or stop doing this? No. Okay. No, the only time I felt like. I wanted to like stop was right before I gave birth lah. Like, I decided okay, I'm gonna like. It's not because I didn't want to anymore. I said like okay, I've done enough. I just wanna now take a break. Enjoy up. sleeping for mm. you know, because after yeah. the baby you don't sleep, you know. So I was I wanted to enjoy that last few weeks of just chilling of, you know. Uh, like how many times did you go to um the the classes when you were pregnant? Um, uh, I. I Masa my first pregnancy, I can't remember, but I think I was going because that time I didn't have another child to go back to, and but so I maybe I did maybe two three times a week. Okay, mm. and when the second pregnancy? Second pregnancy, I tried to maintain also two three times a week. Okay, yeah. mm. and nothing else lah, not like the spinning class. No, 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 no. I was just doing purely crossfit, CrossFit. that time. Mm. What would you say? Eh? The Benefit that you had uh, apart from the back ache that you didn't have. Um, what mm. do you think the the benefits would be for pregnant women to actually train? You know. Right. Um, if you're training in CrossFit while pregnant, one is yeah that you you don't get the back aches and then the usual aches you get during pregnancy. Because for me lah, but I I would I can't say for other people because mm, different, mm, different different yeah. people different body again. So. Right. Like for me, the benefits was that I didn't get the typical aches and all that. 
Number two, I would say the weight management. Because my, because for example, my my mm-hmm. my doctor was very strict mm. in terms of my weight gain because she was very cautious about gestational diabetes and all that. When you are pregnant, you can get that. What's then, uh, gestational? It's like, it's like diabetes, well, but uh, it's like diabetes, but pregnancy lah. Punya diabetes. I don't I I don't know okay. exactly what it is, mm-hmm. but yeah. But they, I I mean I've I've read about it and all that lah. And then I think they say. High blood pressure, ka, or something like okay. that. They were mm, saying mm. that it helps prevent. So I had very little complications in terms of during my pregnancy. You know, like I didn't have your I thought the morning sickness that papa. Really, mm. both pregnancies. That I mean, I just felt maybe nauseous a bit, but not like I wasn't like running to the toilet and throwing right. out. Like I mean, I had friends who were doing that. Right. And some. Do you think that's because? You worked out, ataupun your natural. I guess it's just my body. I don't and, know. Ah, uh, that one I really so can't say. So the third pregnancy. Tadi, tadi, tadi. The third. Tidak ada tutup kedai lah. Tidak ada tutup kedai, man. I'm, What? I'm done, man. Fahan? I'm happy with. Where are you? <laughs> I'm happy with two kids, man. Huh? No more, no more. Oh, come on, man. I have four. Salah rat, salah rat, salah rat. I mean, that's because you're crossfitting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's I I enjoy my pregnancies. Both my pregnancies, I enjoyed it. Ah. Uh, I enjoyed the fact that you can feel them moving. I mean, that's I think that's the one thing I will always miss about being pregnant that the moving, the mm. movement. Because only you feel it. You right. know, nobody no else, else knows that mm. how that feels. And um, but oh, it's tiring. I mean, like there are days when I was pregnant that I just like okay, I don't want to go to the gym today. But I'm like, and I have to keep telling myself if we don't go, you're gonna end up feeling. Crappy after, mm, mm. you know. So, because after a workout, after you, I mean, even if I if I go and even don't do it at, at the same intensity as everyone else, I still f- leave the gym feeling good about myself. I mean, mm. like you know, all the there's exercise, yeah, all the, hormones. the happy mm. happy hormones and all that, mm. yeah. And and it's it's just I just I don't know. I mean, like I just enjoy keeping like constantly moving lah. Uh. And then, yeah. so the last few weeks, you said you took a break. Yeah. Um, how long after the delivery did you get <coughs> uh, go back to to the gym? Okay. Uh, when I was pregnant with my first son, Eden, I I stopped CrossFit three weeks before I was mm-hmm. at birth. Um, with him, I was because I was when I was it was I was it was my first time being a mom, so so I was still adjusting to that and then going back to work and all that and. Um, so I took a bit longer. So mm. I think maybe six months. Got after okay. mm-hmm. that was that was uh, and I and both babies I had C section. Oh, uh, both, both time was C okay. Now I understand. Babies. Okay. Uh, mm. So I I took I took a while. I just took my time. So six months. Six months. Pun I wasn't going like into it like all out. Kap. I was just doing. You is is yourself in ah. Skate skate. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, and then after a while, I think because I was busy. Um, trying to juggle mom, motherhood and work and all that, so mm. I sort of uh, left CrossFit on the back burner just for a bit, and then I think it was one day that Matt sat down and spoke to me, and he's like, "Okay, Nas, what are your goals now? You know, what, where do you want, where do you see yourself in CrossFit? You know, because if you want to go further, you need to put in more hours, you need to start being more confident, adding on more weights mm. and all that." So. It got me thinking. Then that's when, after that, I started getting more serious into it and learn how to juggle motherhood and work and yep, yep. crossfit and all that. Yeah. So the the second uh, oh, son because ah uh, second son <laughs> I was when I I didn't realize I was pregnant uh-huh. until I was already one and a half months pregnant. Okay. That for some reason the first indicator that I was something was probably not right was when I run, I can push myself but. It just, I just won't, won't uh. like, you know, it, it was just a rasa berat. Mm. You know, I just felt so heavy. But I was sitting a lot of PRs. <laughs> in that first, I was sitting a lot Definitely of PRs. Baby. You know, like, macam, my energy was, like, for lifting was through the roof. Right? I'm like, oh, what's happening? And, but then mm. my running is memang, memang out lah, out lah you mm. know. But I was, I was remember that one week we were doing, like, like, Let's try and see how how much you can hit in terms of PRs. So, like that week was like, gila. Mm. <laughs> so much. Um, 
And then um and then it was also that that month they had Hopper Warrior on mm. the big CrossFit events can mm. and and that was when I got the competition bug. Ah. And then I'm like, okay, I want to try this next year. So I spoke to ID ID I said, hey, ID, I want to I want to train for Hopper next year. He said, okay, okay, we can do that. We'll we'll work on that. We'll work towards that next year. Two days later, I found out. I'm pregnant. <laughs> 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 yeah, and I'm like, and yeah, it's, and I was six weeks in, so like one and a half months already. And um, but because you went back I was, to ID, ID. Uh, I said, I'm yeah, sorry, I said, ah, <laughs> I'm I said, pregnant again. I, sorry lah, I'm not going to be competing yeah. next year because I'm already pregnant. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, uh, but because I was a lot more, I think at that point I was a lot more fitter. I mm. was a lot more active, like more serious with CrossFit. And my doctor was give me the green light. She said, "Yeah, you can still continue working out." So, I did not stop during that first trimester, and I hardly stopped till week thirty-four. Mm. Wow! So, uh, I would say the second uh, baby was the uh, second pregnancy was harder in oh, terms okay. of because now get like after the first, your muscles all are already looser. Okay. You know, so I was I still had a bit of cramps here and there, and um, I was showing earlier a lot uh-huh, earlier uh-huh, with the second one, uh-huh. um, and then so much I had, but I did not want to. I I tried my best to like not sub my barbell movements with dumbbells. Dumbbells. So I as long as I was still comfortable, I I kept doing right. it. And but of course, you also had the experience from the first pregnancy. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you knew better, lah. Yeah. So. And I had more awareness this time in terms of movements and all that. So much I was still able to still do snatch and all that and clean and jerk with a baby bump. So right. you just sort of like then how to like maneuver mm. the bar lah. Right. Mm. And then uh, for the second uh, son, uh, how long did it take you before you got back to the gym? Was it the same six <laughs> months or it's like right after the next day? Uh, <laughs> That's cool. Also, yeah. Also C-section baby. Mm. Uh Let's just say, okay, I was begging my guy, like, can I go back? Can mm. I go back? Oh, can okay. I start mm. working out? She's like, no, 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 no. And then by the sixth week after I gave birth, she said, okay, you can go. Um, It is quite, some, quite fast. She said, no, she said, do a, you can go walk, go do some uh. jogs or even cycle. Right. That's when spin came into the story. Oh. Uh, so I, I tried a spin class and... That's when I got addicted to that. I see. Then two weeks later, eight weeks after, baru I got the green light to go back to CrossFit. Is that the usual time frame for someone who has just had a six section, C section? Usually no lah, but because um, she actually checked me and she said, yeah, you, you're okay, you're good to go. This is just it's basically just checking your stitches, stitches and, and all that. Yeah, but and currently internally, semua she she check lah, so to make okay. sure that everything I'm fine that. But of course, I didn't go in and like was yeah. mm. was deadlifting like 90 kg ka pa la, tak de la. But I was I had I had to ease myself back in juga. But how long did it take for you to um, get back to your pre, your pre pre delivery strength or the pre pregnancy strength? Mm, maybe I don't know. Maybe for five months, quite quite long, eh? Mm, mm. Quite a while because I didn't want to push it also because I'm like okay, I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to go to the CrossFit Games, ka pa lah. Like so you I'm don't think of thinking you're not thinking of going into Hopper again? I am, but this year don't cancel. They they're oh, postponing it, it to next year because oh, it's I official did, already. Yeah, I apparently oh. yeah. So hmm, sayang. Mm, so I'm not. So I yeah next year lah. <laughs> mm. mm. uh, your second son was born when again? Uh, June last year. June last year, okay. So oh, last okay. year I didn't get to compete, but I was judging at right. the. At, at wow, mm. gila. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so uh, so now you're pre- uh, hopefully you're preparing for next year lah. Mm. So, yeah. Yes. For for Apple. Inshallah. Right. If everything goes well. Inshallah. Mm. You know. Um, I think it's I don't get pregnant again. I, <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, Farhan. <laughs> Apa ni? Um, okay. I think last thing is that okay, kita dah hampir to like the next 25 minutes. Mm. The last thing I want to ask is that in terms of your weight gain, kan? Mm. Did you gain a lot of weight um, during the pregnancy? Uh. And also. Um, how much have you lost? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I know this is a personal question. I just oh, want to. I'm um, very open about it. 
Ah, uh, please check out them. I, I have it all book. up on my on my Instagram, so people oh. know how much I weigh before and how much I gain. Yeah, yeah so I, I'm I'm very open. Because I don't. I just want the listeners to know that you know, look, because you are, if you if you are physically active, mm. a lot of people, a lot of women, um, when they give birth, of course they have um all the baby, what do you call it, a baby, baby weight, baby weight, baby mm. weight, and all this stuff, and sometimes it sticks. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't go away mm. unless you have a very high metabolism. Then you are always cool. I wish can. I had that. Yeah. <laughs> so so for you, um, macam. Because of you, because you went back in, uh, I think about either six months and also the second one uh, after eight weeks and mm. eight weeks or there, thereabouts. Yep. Um, how has that helped in for you to lose your baby weight? Okay. <coughs> uh, so, yeah. Masa my first pregnancy, I gained altogether 11 kg. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 11 kg. So. Uh, that was. Is that a lot? Okay. Because I, I I don't know. I, the, I, although I have four kids, I don't know. I think for my I think for my weight, I think at that time. Uh, I was allowed to allow up to 15 kalau okay. tidak I can remember there was a there's a chart lah that they will say like your weight is like this channel mm, and then mm. you, this how much you should be able you should which is considered healthy weight gain for right. pregnancy. Mm. Um, second one I felt a lot bigger, mm. but I only gained 8 kg. That's not much, can 8 mm, kg is not much. Not much, I, but for for your frame lah. I yeah, yeah, I I somehow just gained only 8 kg for the second one and. I, and my even then my gynae was quite was still quite strict like in terms of muscle like in your first trimester you should be gaining I, I think I gained a lot in my first trimester so which was not supposed to be the case so mm. I remember when I went to the doctor and she's like she saw my weight gain a bit more slightly more she she would tend to Fahan can you please marah your wife <laughs> <laughs> tell her not to overeat or something uh, uh, yeah she's very she's very strict which I mean like God bless her lah you know my term she like she's heaven sent for me mm. you know and um i think how i lost all that weight four weeks after really mm. that means four you have got after. you've got good metabolic i la. don't have good metabolic because like okay look at it this way when you when you when you give birth you already baby was like what three three kg three plus uh-huh. then you lose in then the placenta lah so it's all it's all that's all weight mass right. already so you get you've already already lost Quite a fair bit, so it's just a bit more to go. So then you go, you do your whole pantang thing, urut lah and all that. So that also helps. Hmm. And they say breastfeeding supposedly yeah, helps you lose weight. Yeah, it burns calories lah. Mm. My case, that, I mean, it, it didn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, like I felt that it didn't work for me. This whole breastfeeding thing and apa that that's the one that makes you lose weight. I mean, some people for them it works, but for me it just didn't work for some reason. Uh, are you back at your Pre-pregnancy weight ataupun there's I, okay must I did get back to pre-pregnancy weight after the first baby, mm-hmm. uh, second baby because I added spin, so it's a lot more cardio as well. I actually went back to pre-kawin weight. Wow! <laughs> ha. But Ooh. I mean, like, yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, like, my body is not is not as it is when I was before kawin yeah, lah. Yeah, you know, la. like you'll never have that. Yeah. I mean, as much as you would love to. Yeah, yeah. I you it will. It, Logically, it will never happen yeah. <laughs> after having a baby. So, so, yeah. But I've actually gone back to like pre-kawin weight, which is like not that much off lah from pre-baby weight. Cause but my still, weight is still, yeah. Uh, yeah, still. I, I think uh, as you get older, it's, it's, it becomes even harder to lose weight. Mm, but I, I can still wear my baju nikah now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wow, actually just tried just you. for for I just tried for fun like. What about that? Right. Yeah. I mean, th- this is a good. Um, Testimony, eh, for <laughs> women out there who are pregnant. I mean, uh, there's no stopping you from unless you know, it's a high risk yeah. pregnancy. Mm. Uh, of course, we are saying human. that you you should consult your doctors yes, and yes. physician. Yes, consult your doctor. Yeah. And I mean, if you're if you tak pernah buat CrossFit before you pregnant, jangan lah buat CrossFit. Yeah. You know? I think you have to have some common sense. You got like yes, kan? yeah. Mm. If you're still doing doing Zumba, kah, but just keep doing it. I mean, mm. I mean, just listen to your body. You sh- you know, you would know. Right. Mm. Anyway, um, we've run out of time. I'm keeping. Uh, I, I'm looking at the camera all the time just to see whether it's still recording. Uh, Nas, thank you again for thank being you for here. Having me. Thank you for sharing uh, again. Uh, it's, I know it's a bit personal, and I, I do appreciate it. Uh-huh. And of course, um, you're always welcome back. I think you have, you, come yeah, back. you have a lot of interesting lot of stories, stories. That, yeah, to share, <laughs> and that's what we love. And I hope the I hope you listeners and viewers are also enjoy uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, any last things that you you would like to say, uh, like uh, like you're winning a Grammy Award, couple, you can 
you know. So. Uh, well, I just wanna like put it out there, like to moms, you know, whether you are expecting or you are just coming back from after having a baby, you should not let anything stop you from going to I mean getting to your goal. Right. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah, it's nothing is impossible. Because I mean, for me, I I've had weight gain issues and all that when I was younger, and I never thought I would. Mm. Look the way I look today, mm, mm. and I would have to say, much like, I feel very, very accomplished as it is. Even though I'm still a work in progress, right. it will always be a work in progress. Mm. But <coughs> you know, don't let anything stop you. That's it. All right, yeah. cool. <coughs> Thanks again. <laughs> Thank and you so much. And uh, so, guys, uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And the camera just died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you.